If there's anything I really love about San Francisco right now, it's the uh, wealth of characters that still live here and that have fought to live here. Hi, my name is Honey Mahogany. I am an activist drag performer and currently work as a legislative aide in San Francisco, California. Growing up in San Francisco was kind of amazing. It felt very safe and nurturing, and I grew up loving the city because it was so diverse and diversity was so valued here. Well, right now we are sitting in the Stud Bar. It is the oldest LGBT nightlife venue in San Francisco. The Stud Bar really exemplifies, I think, the San Francisco nightlife scene. It's a place where everyone is welcome, where anything goes. You can tell walking through the doors at the Stud that there's an incredible amount of history here. I mean, people like Etta James have performed here. People like Lady Gaga have also performed here. The Stud is currently also owned by a collective of individuals. We took over the bar almost three years ago now when the stud bar was threatened with closure due to rising rents. But 17 of us activists, community members, performers, drag queens, nightlife aficionados, we came together and we formed the Stud Collective, which made the Stud um, the first cooperatively owned night LGBT nightlife venue in the country. And we saved the Stud from closure. Our battle to save the stud really showed me how much being politically engaged, how important that is, and how much of a difference that can make. I learned that you know politics can be used as a tool to affect real change in people's lives, especially on a local level. I do think that San Francisco still has that spirit of, of acceptance and um, pushing things forward and change and diversity, but I do think that that's something that we um, have to work to maintain. If there's anything I really love about San Francisco right now, it's the uh, wealth of characters that still live here and that have fought to live here. Um, it's the incredible history that um, you know is all around us and the inspiration to continue to explore and push boundaries I think is a huge part of what San Francisco is.